Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a power plan in Windows 10. So if you want to customize your settings beyond just the high performance, balance, or power saver options in the power option setting in the control panel, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Just soft click on the start button one time. Type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select power options from this list. Select create a power plan on the left side here. And now you can start with an existing power plan and give it a name. So if you want to just start with something and then build off of it, you can. So let's just say we're going to start balance. You can name this plan whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it new plan. And then I'm going to select next. So now you can turn off the display after so many minutes. If you also want to put the computer to sleep after so many minutes, you can set that here as well. And then once you're done with that, you would go select the create button. And now if you select change plan settings, so you can see a new plan is now currently the selected preferred plan. You can select now change advanced power settings. And like the other plans you could also do this with as well. You can expand some of these settings here to make, adjust, make additional power adjustments. So depending if you want to adjust turning off your hard drive after so many minutes, turning off USB ports after so many minutes of an activity like the Wi-Fi adapter in particular, that kind of thing. So just want to put that out there, guys, so you can kind of play around that if you choose to do so. Most people probably don't, but that should hopefully be about it. And if you ever wanted to delete this plan, you would have to go select another plan first. And now that this original plan that we created no longer is selected, you could select change plan settings that corresponds to it. And there would be an option now to delete the plan, so go select that. If you want to delete it, go select OK. And there you go. So we just created and then removed it. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye